In your opinion, what is an album with no bad songs? Miles Davis. Kind of blue this is, emo, a perfect album. Songs in the key of life Stevie Wonder. I wish. Sir Duke. Black man. Isn't she lovely? Knocks me off my feet. As. My fave. Ordinary pain. Joy inside my tears. Pixies. Doolittle. Ziggy Stardust. Deltron 3030. Stop making sense. Talking heads. Rumors. Fleetwood Mac. Massive Attack. Mezzanine. There's honestly so many others I could list but you did only ask for one. Black Sabbath by Black Sabbath. Disintegration by The Cure. Time Out. The Dave Brubeck Quartet. First jazz album to reach 1M sales. Also first jazz single. Time Out. To reach the same milestone. Wow. Thanks for all the love everyone. My father was a big jazz fan and was from that era. He had some Brubeck records and I'm starting my own collection in vinyl. I recently got Countdown. Time in Outer Space also. A tribe called Quest People Instinctive. 36 Chambers Wu-Tang Clan. Nas. Illmatic. Anima. Masterpiece. Mad Villainy. MF Doom. Madlib. Edit. Failed to mention Madlib originally. Can't be sleeping on the legend himself. Dirt Alice in Chains. RATM self-titled. Queens of the Stone Age, Songs for the Deaf. I'm late to this party so this will get buried. But The Prodigy's The Fat of the Land is one of the seminal electronic albums of the British canon. And set the tone for an entire generation of big beat producers. Firestarter. Breathe. Smack my bitch up. Minefields. Every single track was a booming, pulsing anthem to anarchy that immediately grabbed you by the shoulders and shook you awake. Liam Howlett's knifey synths and pounding basses filled you with an aggressive energy impossible to ignore. Keith Flint's punchy vocals gave you permission, ordered you, sometimes, to smash shit up and take no prisoners. TFOTL was an enduring force of nature like no big beat album before it. Completely changing the landscape of electronic music. Even now, some 25 years later, you'd be hard pressed to find many people who wouldn't immediately recognize Firestarter's iconic opening riff or be able to reel off Smack My Bitch Up's controversial lyrics. Anyway, if it's been a while since you heard it, or if by some terrible confluence of events you've never heard it, do yourself a favor and fire up Spotify now. You won't regret it. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.